Hey everyone, so today I am going to be doing my empties video for the month of February. There's not a lot of stuff here just because the month of February is a short month and yeah. I'll get started with the makeup products first. I actually finished two mascaras, yay. So the first one is the falsies and this one actually lasts a really long time. I've actually been using this since November and um, I just finished it at the end of February so like the Actually, the first day of March was the last time I used this, so it's lasted me a pretty long time, like four months. It's lasted me four months and it hasn't dried up, which is really surprising since most of my mascaras dry up like super, super fast. But yeah, this is just an amazing mascara. I really like it. I like layering this, actually. I like layering this with my... Maybelline Pulse Perfection Mascara. This is actually also drying out, but I still am using it at the moment. It's actually what I'm wearing today. But um, I really like the effect of these two mascaras together. I think it's amazing. And yeah, I really like the falsies. This one isn't my favorite one. This is the falsies flared. I, li I really like the black drama one the best, but I really wanted to try out the flared, and I really did like this. My next favorite is another mascara, and this one is really sad that I finished this. This actually I got in my top box last August, and I haven't used it until like January of this year. So this lasted me like a month and a half but then it dried out. I do have a backup of this actually I got in another I think it was an Ipsy bag and this is actually the Sephora birthday gift this year so I won't have to repurchase this. Oh by the way the falsies I would definitely repurchase it. It's one of my favorite drugstore mascaras ever but yeah the Benefit They're Real mascara it's amazing. It makes my lashes look fake. It makes it just, I don't know, it's just amazing. Somebody asked me if I had eyelash extensions when I wore this, but I'm like, no, those are my real lashes. So yeah, I really do like this stuff. And I won't have to repurchase it because it's the Sephora birthday gift for this year, which I won't be getting until October. And I do have another tube of this, but yeah, I'll survive without it for a while. And I'll definitely purchase this when, um... I don't know, next year I guess, after I'm done with the uh, all the samples. So that's what the brush looks like. It I'm sure you've all seen this. It just has that little spiky wand at the end of it and it's just an amazing mascara. If you haven't tried it, definitely check it out because it's amazing. My next empty is the EOS lip balm in Sweet Mint. I think this is in Sweet Mint. Yeah, Sweet Mint. And this actually lasted me for like six months or something like that. I use it every day actually before I go to sleep because it... This kind of lip balm is not like oily, it's not thick, it's not like super super hydrating and super moisturizing and that's what I like when I sleep. I like something just, you know, light on my lips and this is actually a really light lip balm. And um, it does moisturize really well. I really like the Sweet Mint one because it just it smells really, really good. But yeah, that's what it looks like when it's empty. It's like completely flat. And yeah, I'm really sad that I finished this. I do have like three more EOS lip balms to go through before I would repurchase this particular one. I still have uh, Passion Fruit, Strawberry Sorbet, I think. And I have Summer Fruit. So... I still have um, my fair share of EOS lip balms at the moment. I also finished a proactive uh, re repairing treatment and this is the treatment lotion. This is part of my skincare routine. Um, I go through this once every two months I would say. So uh, yeah, this is a benzoyl peroxide kind of lotion and it goes underneath my uh, moisturizer so it keeps my face. It kind of helps with the oil I guess. and. Yeah, it's, it's a really good product. If you have really sensitive skin, I would not suggest this just because it does have benzoyl peroxide in it. It's a very low concentration, just 2.5%, uh, but it's still, if you have really sensitive skin, I wouldn't suggest this, but I really like it. Uh, my next favorite, or my next favorite, my next empty is the Black Amethyst, what is this, shower gel from Bath & Body Works. So... I really like this. It's definitely a winter scent and I would definitely repurchase this. I actually really like this for the winter months. I wouldn't go crazy over it for the summer months or anything, but uh, if I could get it at a deal again, I think I got this for, I think, I don't know, around four, maybe three to four dollars when it went on sale. I would definitely get it for that price again. So it's, it's a really nice musky 
kind of winter scent. It's just very warm and yeah, I really did like that. And my next thing is a pure and simple calming cucumber mask. This came in a top mm. box and I just really liked it. It is actually kind of a weird mask. It's my first time using a gel mask and I did like it. It was very, again, like calming cucumber. Like I did feel that it was very calming and cooling on the skin. And it was actually like almost invisible. Like you couldn't tell it was on your face. Your face just kind of looked wet, but um, you couldn't really see the mask, which was pretty cool. And when you wash it off, it just felt so hydrated and nice and that would that shine that it gave would last a few days so this mask was really good actually it really surprised me that I actually like this but I do have other masks that do the same thing like um they make my face really not shiny but um it gives you like a glow after you use it and the My Beauty Diary mask really do that for me. So, uh, yeah, that's the Pure and Simple mask. I would definitely consider purchasing it. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone. <laughs>